Hello world, welcome to this new DroneLink Basics, Return to Home. First we're going to discuss a little bit about what is the elevation and takeoff level. This is sea level, ESRI level, takeoff level. The sea level of course is fixed. The ESRI level is a standard for ground elevation. And finally of course your location, depending where you are. Therefore, it is extremely important that you set your return to home location correctly. I have made a simple mission, just elevate to 10 meters, flying in the field and doing a rotation. I will do uh, six tests with exactly the same flight. So the first one is a simple return to home mission. We are going to set return to home height low, because I don't want to crash my, my drone. That's all good. I already set it to 20 meters. We will go to drumming. I have made five flight plans. So we start with the first one, which is a standard mission and return to home. So So the drone is flying to a small location. Do a rotation. He should do a rotation now. Filming. So this is the standard mission, so this is nothing spectacular. No, it's about one minute, so it should not be too hard. And done. And now he should return. Let's see if that works. Let's see, mission accomplished. And he comes home, he goes to 20 meters. And comes back home. So that is perfectly what he should do. So he should now land on the land pad. And you can see that all works perfectly. It's a little bit off, I'm not doing anything. Let's see. That all works fine. Ten meters, ten meters. Switch camera on, start rotation. So I have set five exactly. The only thing that's different is the setup settings, uh, which of course is what we're testing here. 
So this all works perfectly. And we're done. So now it should say mission accomplished and it should land. Oh, voila! I don't know if it's in the field, so I will pick it up. <laughs> okay, as you see, no problem at all. So now we go for the third test. Test number three is hover. There we go. Done. Mission accomplished. And now you will see it remains there. So, at the end of the mission, I'm not going to push, as you can see. The return to home button. Activating now. Rotating and coming to me. And this all works perfectly. According to the program, the drone should start from the um, from the corner there, but due to the fact that we are not there, it should not start. So let's see if that works. In fellow drone location, dismiss. We are 20 meters outside of the required area. Okay, so that works good. It doesn't it doesn't take off. Okay, so now we go for number five, which is the interesting one. We're flying now the mission, so I'll wait till it starts filming, and then let's see what's gonna happen. Not standing in front of my camera. So we're filming now, and now I'm gonna push the return to home button. And also, that works perfectly. Okay, that works perfectly. Now we're going for the last one, which is the most important one. What will happen if you lose connection? The return to home test. All right, we're flying. So, now I'm going to switch off the remote controller. Of course, it has no use to check because there's no connection, so there will be no any video fit. It's rotating now. It's going to 20 meters. You see, it is really not. Oh, 
disconnected, as you can see on my screen. And it comes home at 20 meters. And I can't do anything because it's switched off. I can close it. And it looks like he is landing. And it comes down without doing anything here. You see, I'm doing nothing. There's no connection between me and the drone. So this is all autonomously. This went perfect. <laughs> so. so I'm going to fly my route and when it starts with the rotation I will press return to home. So let's see what's happening. So again as always. As you can see, it goes around the restriction zone. That all works perfectly. Okay. Now there are a lot of words. Okay, it starts with restriction zone. I'm going to press... Mission stopped. Okay, let's see what's happening now. It's coming home, going to 20 meters, as it should go, and now. No. Okay, so this doesn't work. Very close to the limb post. Lowering his legs. I think that says it all. That doesn't work, so that is another test finished and well, that's the way it is. So I think we are going to stop it now. So we do it again. One, two, three. Okay. Hello world. That was an interesting two days. So we did seven tests. So I'll go over them quickly. First we did the levels. This is very important to know because your return to home point is where you take off. You can set it of course on sea level or on ground level, but if you are standing on a higher uh, building or whatever, you're screwed. So I always take take off location. My advice, leave it as it is. Okay, the first real test was the return to home normal. This works without any problem, we have all used that. The second one was landing after completion. This worked smoothly. The fourth was hover after completion. That is usually what I use because I always do more missions at once. So I could already tell you that. We did not discuss this any further in the video because that's just a standard um, procedure. Then the restriction start. This is also something we have all done before, so um, it worked. If you are outside of your 20 meter restriction zone, you can't start up. 
Okay, then one that was always discussing on the forum, and that is return to home during a mission. So what will happen if you fly a mission and you just press return to home? Okay, well, as we all saw it, it works. Your, return, your drone will return home without any problem. So that is a very good feature. Seven, uh, number six, that was may maybe the most requested one. What will happen with your drone if you lose connection? Well, I did all those tests except the last one with my Spark. And um, the Spark is actually the predecessor of the, of the Mini. Um, it works fine. It's a very strong drone, so there's no folding arms. So if it drops, it's not a very big issue. It has never been dropped before. So, um, so what I did, I, I just flew and I switched off my remote control during my mission. And I just want to see what was happening. And it worked perfectly. It came home. It all worked. And the last one that was on the request of Larry from... Um, what will happen if you have a restriction zone marked in your setup and you press return to home? I actually should have known this uh, and of course I did, but I want to make the video complete so I added this video. That is the only thing that doesn't work. Restriction zones only work with an approach and a destination, not with return to home, not with any other command or, um, or, or order or a component. It just doesn't do that. So if you are flying and you just um, have a return to home command, it just goes home in a straight line. It's just as it is. If it is helpful, yes. Uh, on the other hand, if there is something your, um, your drone wants to come home, it has to come home as quickly as it can. So it's discussable and... Um, but that's the way it is. So I think it was a very um, interesting day. I did all my tests with the Spark except the last one. That was done with my Inspire. I have also made a complete film about preparing my Inspire for, um, for a flight. That's for another time. Um, I also did, to be very clear, but that's not on this video, uh, the same mission with the same settings return to home with the Inspire and I can tell you everything worked perfectly so all those settings are working on the entire DJI range and not just to the Spark or the Mini or whatever it just it works with all um, with all drones as we expect from DroneLink so again I hope you learned something it was uh, for me it was uh, really fun to do I had a serious problem with synchronizing all my clips because it just doesn't work very smoothly, but that's the way it is. Uh, to be very complete, I have filmed with my um, Spark and with my Inspire 2. Additional footage was done with the, Garm um, the Garmin Furb 360. That is also the camera I use for following the drones. And as a steady cam, I use the GoPro 6 and the GoPro 7. So I think that will done everything for now. Um, I think my next video will be mapping because there's a lot of questions about mapping. So I think uh, we're going to work on that one. It was good to be doing this and we'll talk to each other later. Bye bye.